Jenny Mae and Dean are looking at getting a new puppy, a new addition to the whānau. So I've come up with a really cool idea in making some dog toys. The best thing about it though is that you can use anything around the home and it's in Noi Hotepūtia. They're really, really inexpensive. I really, really like to upcycle. You know I really like to upcycle. So instead of going out and buying expensive toys for your dogs, I'm going to show you how to make your own. Anei ngā rauimi. All we need is tiha te tawhito, old t-shirts, tōkina tawhito, old socks, 9mm polycord or rope offcuts, pack of five tennis balls, and a pack of five mini tennis balls. He maripi, kuti kuti rānei, sharp knife or scissors. And a lighter. Ko te mahi tuatahi. The first thing I'm going to do is the rope pull toy. Kei āau e tahi toi ngā tauira. So I have some leftover rope from my rope bolts. I'm going to make a monkey fist knot out of the leftover cuts. Te mata mai i te rua mita. Start about two metres from the end of the rope. Wrap it four times around your hand. Go behind two fingers and pass it around the front. Take it off your hand, holding it in place. Go around this one four times. Four. The initial knot has to be pretty loose, otherwise you'll never be able to feed the last three loops through the knot. Put the mahi in So the thing we have to do now is just tighten it up. To tighten the knot, start with the rope at one end of the knot. Following the path of the rope, push and pull the loop through the entire knot, pulling the loops tighter as you go. Ka pai ko mutu ahau. Yay, I'm finished. It took a lot of mahi. Ina e nei, kia rua ngā tauira o iataha. So now I've got two cords on each side. I'm going to cut the end of this one. Ngā taha e rua, two sides. All I'm going to do is seal the ends so it doesn't fray. Kia tūpato, tamariki mā. Children beware. Now it's time to make a braided handle on each side of the ball. All I'm doing is going around the back, making three lengths. And then I'm going to braid a three plait. And to end the braid, all we have to do is fold it inside the loop side and pull. And eight, one handle, come two. One handle finished. And there we have it, our rope pull toy. So the kuri will get on each side and pull and tug. Or one will just hold the end and go like that. Mahi pene. Or you could wear it as a tanga, as a necklace. Our next toy is going to be using an old sock, tokina tafito. Now we've all got these around our homes. What I'm going to do is open up the tokina pene, the tennis ball in, tie a knot, tie another knot, one more knot. A second ball. This last one's a little bit harder because there's not much material left. Koina, mama noi hoki te mahi. It was as easy as that. This is a fetch toy. With the taonga tua toru, the third toy is a cuddly chewing toy. Cut a t shirt into four on the side seams and centre, front, and back. Leave the next seam holding it together. Tapuna here, tie a knot at the top. What I need to do now is braid a four plait. So a four plait starts with the outside, going over two, over two, pene, and then under one, kapai. So now it's the outside on the right hand side, over two, under one. Keep going till you reach the end. Now this is another taonga that you don't really have to be fussy about because it's just going to get shredded to pieces. Use a hair tie to secure the loose end. To finish our chew toy, all I'm going to do is take the end, tuck it into the knot at the neck, fasten it with a couple of stitches if necessary. And there we have it, our cuddly chew toy. I think they're really, really awesome. They cost barely nothing. Rope, sock, old t-shirt, a tennis ball, and I think Jenny Mae's gonna really love it. 
They're gonna go and try them on boat.